What's up, guys? This is Chef Ma'am. Today we're gonna be going over how to make a hydrogen hyd hydrogen gas bomb. Um, you know, it's this this isn't really that difficult to make. Uh, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some. Uh, your ingredients are gonna be a bottle of Lysol. You're just gonna need the Lysol for the HCO and the hydrochloric acid. And a bunch of pieces of aluminum foil. You should have 50 50 uh, isole and aluminum foil, but, free, free, but feel, feel free to experiment. This isn't really that dangerous. Uh, this is the type of isole I think works best. It has um, loads of HCl, which is hydrochloric acid. And later on, I'll get into why that's important. But um, yeah, materials. The materials are just going to be one, one two liter empty soda bottle, which is basically those soda bottles that you get at like the pizza store, not store, um, pizza restaurant, not restaurant, pizza place, your local pizza place, uh, or uh, stopping shop or whatever. Not those skimpy little bottles. I'm talking about those big ones, like the ones that you can barely fit half your hand on, or maybe even more than half, whatever. I mean, what eight, whatever. Uh, step one is to fill the bottle with Lysol to any amount you want. This is because oxygen isn't really uh, an important factor in this chemical reaction. So it's not really a combustion reaction as much as it is um, as much as it is uh, like other explosives. It's more of a decomposition reaction. Uh, this, but it's really it's really not a decomposition reaction. It's more of a single displacement. It's exactly, it's, it's literally a single displacement reaction, but it's more like a, of a decomposition explosive, you know? Uh, because, you know, you have something that's degrading. And it's, it's not degrading, but it's turning into... You have... Um, so uh, I'm not really going to go into the oxidation states and the... the um, what gets reduced and what's got oxidized and all that. Uh, let's just move on. So after you fill the bottle with Lysol, any amount, amount, amount you want, you want to do the same with uh, you by adding uh, the same amount of aluminum foil to the bottle. Now with the aluminum foil, you want to crush them into, into balls, so um, they're easier to um, react with. You know, because um. Uh, and I really just want to actually let me look at that up for a second. So yeah, um, just so I want to make sure. So when you put them into balls, you increase the surface area. And what you're doing is you're speeding up the reaction. So uh, yeah, wait about two hours and it'll blow up itself. Now this, because of the two hour delay, this makes this an excellent idea for pranks. You know, just leave it in like your classroom and watch it blow up and like uh, you get aluminum chloride and uh, plastic shards uh, shrapnel everywhere. Obviously, don't do this when there's people around. Do this when they're, they're um, uh, when they're uh, like like after class, you know, leaving the class like after school ends, or get, get go to school early and uh, just drop by near by the door and uh, or in the hallway, you know. Now, so what's happening is the hydrochloric acid. Let's get to the science. The hydrochloric acid is in the lysol is, is reacting with the aluminum in the single displacement reaction to form aluminum chloride, aqueous, which is liquid, and hydrogen gas. Why does it take so long? Well, aluminum usually has um, like this outer layer of aluminum oxide on it, which protects it from water. Uh, the hydrochloric acid will eat this up pretty quickly, but uh, 
that's relatively quickly, but um, when I say relatively quickly, I mean like two hours, so it's really not that quick. But uh, once that happens, the reaction will proceed pretty quickly and uh, vigorously. In other words, the, start, the hydrogen gas will start to bubble out of the solution. So um, that's it, guys. Uh, Chef Ma'am, if any of you guys have uh, any questions, just email me or comment on my channel. And I'll, um, I'll answer them, you know. So this is it. Chef Ma'am, signing out.